Welcome back guys. So today we're going to actually start on this tier of things, but we're not exactly going to start on these tier of things because one of the things we're going to have to do that you'll notice is we keep having to do this thing because of the way we've set up these filing cabinets is we, you know, these are great. They hold a lot of stuff, but you keep having to do this thing where you get to open it, use your magnifying glass and pull like a resin and walk over to the crafting table and pull out what you want. And, Kind of becomes a thing, okay? So what we're going to do instead is we're going to get a better system for this, okay? And that's just going to help us complete everything we need to do here, okay? So to do that, what we're going to do from the get-go is we're going to go over to Age of Storage. We're going to deal with this simple storage network right here, okay? This is just way easier to deal with all this stuff, okay? And so to do that, we're going to need these three things the request table, the network master, and the controller. And we can actually make every bit of this stuff so far, okay? Got the gold, we, got, we can make a crafting table, we can do the data storage cables, that's just stone slabs, we can do the ingots, that's fairly straightforward, we can make that one right now. We can do the uh, blocks, the quartz, mm, no we can't, okay? And then uh, other, everything else in here, we can make the diamonds, we can make the storage cables, and all that. we can't do the block of quartz. We also cannot, over here, we can do the lapis, we can do these uh, processing cables, we can do the obsidian, but the processing cables need to server. So the observer, again, we need another quartz crystal. So unless we're heading to the nether or something like that, we can't just make these. And my deal is we want to just be able to make these. So to make these, what we're going to do is we're going to need a quartz sapling, which uh, you'll notice would give us nether quartz. Or part of the quartz uh, sapling, though, is you need nether rack, which I might as well build a source for nether rack, which is a nether rack sapling. Okay? That also will drop nether crystals, okay? So that's where we're going to start. To do this, we're going to need nether rack. Nether rack, there's, you know, they give all kinds of little sorts of ways of getting it and all this type of stuff. Uh, but the easiest, or the one that we're going to use is this uh, deal where you use a casting thing. So we're going to use our, our melter over there, basically. We're going to need lava in it, and we're going to need a redstone amber. Redstone amber is just redstone, which we can get. So our redstone, we got, I got my tree right back over here. Just gonna pull this. Get my redstone. Is it resin? Yep, it's resin. Get my redstone resin. Show y'all how this actually works in terms of getting one out, just in case y'all haven't figured it out by now. Pull your stack of redstone resin. Make your redstone amber. You're good to go on that. Alright, once you have your redstone amber, then you're going to need to uh, to make the nether rack, you're going to need lava, weren't it? Lava, you're going to need cobblestone. In which case, if we only had a source of cobblestone. You only need four. Get you a bucket of lava. Go over here. If there's stuff in this currently, you can either you know clear it out however you want to do, or just pick it back up, place it back down. Then you can put your lava in here. Once you have your lava in there, if you have not done so, you're going to need a casting basin. If you've made one, cool. If not, then uh, go get yourself one just some porcelain. That's not that big a deal. Anyway, you're going to need the casting basin underneath there. And you're going to need to place your redstone amber in there. Make sure your lava's there. And just pour. Once it cooled, there's your nether rack. Mm. Once you have your piece of nether rack, go get yourself the uh, resin and the, uh, for the gold and the diamond. As well as the redstone sapling. You'll be set to go. That'll make your netherrack sapling. Go plant that sucker, and at some point you'll have enough quartz to make this part. All right. So once we got our, our nether crystal, our quartz crystals, okay, then the next part of what we're going to need to do the quartz crystal here. So we got our nether crystal. Is we're going to need the netherrack. We're going to need the magnum slime crystal, and we're going to need an emerald sapling. Oh, we don't have an emerald anything yet. So emerald sapling. We got to take a look at it. Emerald sapling, we got tin resin, we got a tin tree back over there, okay? Got green slime, okay, we'll figure that out here in a bit. That's from the green slime uh, sapling over there that we made earlier. But we do not have a nickel anything. So we're going to nickel resin from the nickel sapling. 
So we need to make that nickel sapling. Nickel sapling is casting iron sapling, which we can get, but we need this molten nickel, which same thing as most of these things, it comes from a nickel amber. Nickel amber, straightforward, petrified, bone, sand, and if you hit, wait a second, there's the cocoa beans. Cocoa beans come out of our jungle sapling, which we've got. And we'll go ahead and make that. Okay, so we take our uh, nickel amber. We're going to throw it in here with our iron sapling casting table. So again, we're going to need to switch back to our casting table. Put our iron sapling up here. Pop our amber in. Once it's uh, in the molten state, or over your iron. Now we can go plant it. So once we are a piece of nickel resin, we can get the tin already, we can get the diamond sapling already, the green slime crystal. It's a green slime mud, which we need to smell. Mitch, where do we get the green slime mud? Well, that's straightforward. Mm. Four slime balls, sand, dirt. So we can get it, make every bit of that. So let's go ahead and make our green slime mud. And that'd be that. Once you get your green slime mud, we need to cook it, which is fairly straightforward. Pop it in your furnace. Make sure you got your nickel 210 resin and your diamond sapling on you. Once you've got that, go to your crafting thing, make your emerald sapling, and you can go uh, plant that sucker, get that sucker produced. So once you get your emerald sapling, mm -hmm. at this point you get your nether quartz, get your emerald sapling, you, get, you can make your nether rack, now you got to deal with this magma slime crystal. This gets a little involved. So magma slime crystal, you need magma slime mud. Magma slime mud, nether rack, not that big a deal. The rest of this, big deal. Okay? So we're going to start with the soul sand. Soul sand, you're going to need sand, red, sand, basically, and this hellish matter. Mm. Hellish matter comes from a couple different ways. Uh, another act, to which case uh, you can do this uh, overworld, uh, world of mat mm. matter. Yeah. To which case you need the zombie data matter uh, thing come from simulation chamber. Mm. You got to make all this. It's a involved as heck process that just becomes a thing that just it's it takes a while to do this thing. Okay. Now we will do this at some point, but not right now. It's just crazy. So rather than that, soul sand, we know that comes from the nether. So we can do we can make nether cake to get to the nether. So we're going to need to make a nether cake, to which case we're going to need obsidian and to make a cake. To make a cake, it's straightforward. We need this is milk, sugar, wheat, and eggs. Eggs being the one thing we don't have a way to get, okay? So eggs you can do one or two ways. Either you can trade at the market with seeds, which is fairly straightforward what I typically would do but in this case we're gonna just we get no eggs come from a chicken okay so we're gonna go ahead and make some chicken seeds bone mill seeds cottonwood acorn so that's fairly straightforward we can go ahead and make that let's make our chicken seed once you got your chicken seed just like everything else pick yourself a spot over here plant it Mm. Get your bone mill out. And you'll have a chicken. Chickens like to eat seed. And same as everything else, you can get them down in a minute just feeding them seed. Once you get an adult chicken, with any luck, you can just give them some seed. Mm. And he'll give you an egg. And if not, then just go over here to the market. Type an egg. Pop your seed in, and you'll have an egg. Once you've done your gathering, you get three buckets with milk in them. 
two sugar, sugar cane, three wheat, and the egg. You can then make your cake. Okay? Once you catch your cake, you go gather your obsidian. You can make your nether cake. Now, a lot of people at this point in time want to take that cake, slap it down, go to the nether. Okay? Don't do that. Okay? You need an Overland World cake also. The reason you're going to need that, Overland World cake is how you get back here. Okay? Now, typically speaking, the game should give you one. But I've seen plenty of times where it's an Overworld cake. Sorry, I said it wrong. But I've seen plenty of times where people have gone over whatever and they get stuck because there's not one there. And in your case, if you're playing a solo, you don't have another person to come help you with that. So you need to build this cake too. So go gather that and build that cake while you're at it. Okay, once you get everything, you've built your second cake again, you, you now can do your overworld cake. You now own both cakes. By the way, once you get that cake, that finishes this one. All right, once you have your uh, both nether cake and the real world cake, pick yourself a spot. I guess we'll just uh, put it over here. Go on through. And you get to find out where you landed. All right. Once you're in here, you should be able to look around and hopefully find some soul stone pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll have to go back apparently and get the, uh, yeah, we'll have to go get us some uh, cobble or something to get down there. But as you can see, now I have two overworld cakes. Sometimes it gives you that, sometimes not. Better be safe than sorry though. So in my case, I did go back and uh, got myself a full diamond here. Created a diamond sword and everything that way. Um... Grab myself some cobble, too. Probably should have brought more, really. We'll have to figure that out in a bit. But other than that, um, that over there looks like the closest ability for me to go and get some soul stone. So I'm going to start working my way over there. Before I get going, though, and this is really why I'm recording this part here, is go ahead and here, hit the little J key. Make yourself a waypoint so you know how to get back here, just in case you get lost. Because it can happen. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. So Anyway, I'm going to hike my way over there and... Uh, get some salsa. Once you fuck your way over and you finally reach the soul sand wherever it be, I would recommend staying there until you have at least a minimal of a stack. Once you've got a stack of it, then you can head on back. So once you finally get all that, you can go back to there and now you've actually got the soul sand you need for this part. So now you only got to come up with the magma and the slime balls. So once you get back with your soul sand, you're good to go on that. Now you need the magma. Okay, the magma is just blaze powder with slime. Slime, you can use any of these slimes. So the slime you get from over there from your slime tree works fine. But the blaze powder, not so much. Blaze powder comes from blaze rods or this stuff again. In my case, I was lucky enough to get a couple blaze rods while I was over there. If you didn't, go kill you some. You know, take yourself a uh, bow at least. You know, Something like that. But anyway, get your blaze powder. Does this glitchy thing sometimes? Anyway, get your blaze powder. And now you can make your magnus. But you're going to need two. And there you go. Once you got your slime, your magnus, and some your soul sand, then the only thing you got like is this slime right here. Okay, so to get the slime balls that we need, the orange ones, you're going to need the proper tree. To get the proper tree, you need blue slimes happening, it's not a big deal, but you need to put it in this blazing pytherium. To get dig at that, you need the pytherium dust. To get the pytherium dust, you have to craft it. Blaze powders, which we already discussed earlier, redstone, and the sulfur. The sulfur, you can also get while you was over there in the nether, okay? If you didn't get the sulfur, however, you can take a netherrack and get it with a grindstone. Or you can build yourself a crusher and get this too. But in my case, I already got the sulfur, so I'm not doing either one of these. <laughs> but that's if you needed the sulfur. Once you've got your sulfur, 
your two blaze powders and your redstone, you can then go over to crafting bench, or you can actually do this without the crafting bench, honestly. But you get two of these. Once you've got four of the Pythereum dust, then you can go ahead and start melting these down. You're going to need four because you need a bucket's worth. So go ahead and make yourself four of them. Pop them in here. And they do take a little while. So once it's finally all melted, then what you do is take a bucket, put it in there, and just pour away. Then I'll get you your bucket, over to your cauldron, drop it in, blue slime in, there's your sapling. Finally, you get your two slime, your two magma, your soul, your netherrack. Once you got all those finally, then you can build your red slime magma mud. Take your red slime mud, burn it, and you'll get the uh, magma. Uh, what is it? Red magma slime crystal is what they're calling it? Yep, magma slime crystal. And then finally, once you're to that point, you now have the nether crystal, or the nether, nether quartz, sorry. You have the emerald sapling, you've got both your nether, nether axe, and you've got your magma slime crystal. You can then make your quartz sapling. So once you have that uh, tree down, you can now begin to do the controller assembly. Uh, to which case, lapis block is going to be the first thing you're going to need. Uh, it comes from lapis acorns. Just go get yourself at least enough lapis acorns to build yourself four of these blocks. Uh, for those, you just need a crafting table. Hold shift and get yourself at least four. And that does that. Next part of building your controller is the processing cables. Processing cables, uh, you'll need all this, so it's kind of one of those break it down things again. So you need gold nuggets at first. So just go build yourself a gold block, basically. You get uh, your uh, stuff, build gold amber, melt it down, that'll get you a gold block. Once you got your gold block, come over here to the crafting table, pop it in there, that'll get you your gold ingots. Take one of the ingots, pop it in there, and I'll get your gold nuggets. And I'll get your first step. Next step is going to be the storage cables, okay? Storage cables are straightforward in terms of stone slabs and then uh, just some iron. So go ahead and make your iron. Same thing there. Uh, go make some iron uh, blocks or iron ambers. Break them down, make some iron blocks. Take your iron blocks, make ingots, okay? Once you've got your ingots, then you're going to need the stone. Go get some cobblestone, cook it, that'll make stone. Once you get the stone, then you can just take three of them, put them in there, that'll make the six of those you'll need. That will make your storage cables. Once you get your storage cables, you'll be set to go, and you'll also have completed another achievement there. Which is right here. That's part of the processing cables, is once you've got the nuggets and the uh, storage cables, then you just need to build the observer. Observer, you should have everything you need already, because it's just cobblestone, two redstone, and the nether quartz. That'll get your observer. Once you have the nuggets, the storage cable, and the observers, then that's going to be good enough to make four of the processing cables. That's part of that's getting a piece of obsidian. In which case, that'll give you the lapis, the processing cables, and the obsidian. That's good enough to make your controller. That's the first part of the three-part machine you'll need. And you'll also complete the control yourself, which is uh, right there. Next part of this is going to be the storage network master. The storage network master is the quartz blocks, storage data cables, and the diamond. Diamond's straightforward. You just make your diamond. You've already been doing that. Your storage data cables, you should actually have enough left over from making the controller a minute ago. If not, then just go make yourself some more stone and iron. Nothing major there. Okay? 
Last part of this is the quartz blocks, to which case you're just going to have to collect enough quartz to be able to make four of these. And that should be straightforward in terms of, you know, making quartz blocks. Mm. Once you have all four, go ahead and make your storage network master. And then I'll complete the master blaster part. Oh, uh, where is it? It's under storage. Right there. Last part of this is a storage request table, okay? To which case, you just need four pieces of gold. Uh, again, same thing, go get yourself a gold, nut, uh, gold block, break it. Well, the uh, data cables, to which case we need to make a few more of those. So those are no big deal. Got those made. And then, of course, crafting table out the middle. Once you got that done, that'll get your, your storage request table done. To which case, that finishes that part. Last part of this whole thing is this remote, to which case the remote's kind of handy. It's not too bad. And you've got everything to do it for the most part. Uh, the only thing you'll need to do is create the little cables, okay? The cables are pretty straightforward. This one just needs a hopper. You've already made the cables there. So that one just needs a hopper. And that gives you the four. The next part is the ex export cables again, so we make a few more of these. Ah, ran out of iron. Okay. As you can see, I'm not even bothered moving on doing this. I just kind of sit here and click away. Piston. And that gets me my, net, my remote. And that finishes all of this. So the only thing we got to do now is hook the whole thing up. So once you got a mess of them, what you're going to want to do then is, well, just realize where I put your cake there. Huh. Okay, <laughs> didn't realize that was there. Uh, just run down your line. You can, like I say, you can organize these however you feel like. Connect them up. Give yourself some gapping because you're going to need to add some personal chest too and all that eventually. So wherever you decide to put it, it's fine. But when you finally get down to it and all this, then what you do is controller first. Then comes your master. Then comes your request table. And what that does is whenever you go in here, it should begin to show you everything connected into it. There we go. Okay? So this gives you quick options to anything you'd want in, the, in there. You can actually search this. So like, let's say you need iron. You can just search for iron. It gives you anything that contains the word iron. You, and then with the remote, you can walk over here, be work, working on something over here, up. Oh, my apologies, I did not click which one it controls to. There it goes. You gotta click the, ma the master, sorry. Once you hit the master with the uh, remote, now I can access that too. From anywhere I want. And I can pull, and if I've got empty spots, I can put stuff in there too. So it's a good thing to put some personal chests, things, whatever you want to put in there, and it works as storage. And then what I do is I also create a couple of filing cabinets, so I'll put things like, you know, redstone and iron blocks and you know whatever you figure that you're constantly using and eventually I create enough for everything to go in there too so this begins my this becomes basically my storage throughout the entire game so that completes this whole little thing over here on how we're going to use it and all that and that'll get us all ready to finally begin to work on all this stuff over here but that's going to cut this video for today. We'll pick that up uh, on our next video is where we'll start to begin working into here. Hopefully this has helped you. Hopefully that gives you a good understanding of how this all works too. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.